Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Daryl and today I'm going to be talking about presenting and how to appropriately create a presentation for presenting. Uh, so in this presentation I'm going to be talking about your slides and you, making sure that you and your slides are on the same page. Uh, the content that it will be within your slides, a few tips and tricks along with a conclusion, of course, important with every slideshow. So talking about your slides and you. So your slides shouldn't be the main attraction, it should be the main focus. Your audience should be paying attention to you and what you have to say. So don't make your uh, slides too flashy, too in your face, because that will detract the attention of the audience from the words that you have to say. So this means your slides should be clean and simple, much like yourself, and making sure that your PowerPoint does not have spelling errors. And of course, your PowerPoint has to keep a clear structure. So making sure that you don't bounce around from topic to topic that doesn't make sense. This loses the audience, uh, excuse me, this loses the audience's ability to remain focused on the topic in discussion. So moving on to the contents of your slide. So everything you should be in bullet points. You shouldn't be copying, pasting paragraphs worth of data from Wikipedia or Google or other sources. Because if there's a huge paragraph of text on your slide, your audience feels as though they have to read it. And if you're standing there reading out the information on your slide, then having that with that information doesn't make sense. Plus, with all that text, you end up with very messy looking slides. And at least with bullet points, you can elaborate further if need be. And use your own language. Use, <coughs> use, see, I've messed it up already. Perfect example. So make sure that you're using your own language, making sure that you're using words that you would normally use. If it's, you know, if you're standing there talking about things that you're using words that you don't usually use, you're more likely going to stumble across yourself, or you're not going to come across as confident and as knowledgeable on the topic that you might actually be. So keep that in mind. And of course, use animations, use pictures, and use videos. So what I'm about to show you is something that I did for a presentation that I did for uni. It's a very small section. We were doing a PowerPoint about operating systems. One operating system was Mac OS. So what we did to introduce Mac OS into the presentation was this. So that entire bit was made purely out of audio, pictures, and animations, making it look as though it was the operating system starting, logging in, and opening up a folder which then displayed all the bullet points for the Mac OS section of our presentation. This not only kept the audience interested, but it made us look like we knew what we were talking about. This was a group presentation. So it looked nice, but it was still clean, simple, and everything was presented in bullet points. So you've got your PowerPoint presentation ready to go and you are getting ready to actually present. So make sure that you know your PowerPoint slides forward and back. Make sure that you know what every sound, what every animation is. Dress the part, dress nice, nice. If it's a serious presentation, but you should never be too casual when it comes to presenting one of these things, especially if you're doing it to a group of people that you need to get your point across. If you come dressed very messy, less chance of your audience actually listening to you. Do what I'm doing here today. I'm using a wireless mouse to click through my presentation. This means I'm not tethered to a single point. It means I'm able to walk around. It means if I want to, I can easily walk over and interact with my slides. Though, if I'm <clears throat> speaking of slides, make sure though that you're not continually looking at your slides because it means that it comes across as you not knowing your presentation and therefore not knowing the information that you are supposed to be passing on to your audience. And if your audience believes that you don't know what you're talking about, they're not going to take you seriously and they're not going to listen to you. And it comes back around to the point of remember as much of your PowerPoint presentation as you can. If you're able to do your entire presentation without the needing of notes or um, cards or anything like that, the better. If you're able to continually look out to your audience and speak directly to them, 
then you're going to have a better time with your presentation and you're going to connect more with your audience. So here are a few tips and tricks that I've worked out in terms of making my presentations and make, and presenting them. The first thing I do is I <coughs> excuse me. The first thing I do is I write out the entire presentation word for word, slide for slide. This way I'm able to basically learn my presentation. Now you're probably having a read through that and you've probably noted you've probably noted things that I've missed. Uh, you've probably seen things that you know I've not talked about or I've worded slightly differently and that's one advantage of doing the presentation this way because it, you can modify one single presentation for different groups of people. Uh, if I was to do this presentation to a different group of people or to you know it would be very slightly different. They're the same message and the same points would get across. Two, record yourself. Um, so record yourself either with a video camera, with your phone, audio. It's basically a more modern way of doing it in front of a mirror. Make sure that you sort of understand your body language. Are you somebody that moves your arms around a lot when you speak? Are you somebody that stands very still and talks like this? And you know, again, when you're recording yourself, are you somebody that has much emotion in your voice? Do you move your voice around a lot or do you talk in monotone, especially when you are reading off a piece of paper? All those things can make such a difference to the effect of your presentation. If I was to stand here to this exact presentation word for word, but if I looked directly into the camera and not looking away, and if I spoke in a monotone voice, it would become very hard to listen to eventually. And I can't carry on doing that. Uh, I find that if I am presenting in a classroom or a small hall, I like to find three or more different points of reference. So of course in doing this presentation I'm talking to one direct camera, uh, but if I was of course in that situation I would be finding three points around the room. <clears throat> the points I usually go for is empty chairs that have people around them. Uh, if you're being assessed for your presentation, make sure that one of those points is close to your assessor or the, your assessor themselves. Uh, it just helps. If you are somebody that is having to read notes, uh, you can find your points. You can go one, two, three, notes, three, two, one, two, three, notes. And you can carry on like that. That way you're not only able to continue the uh, eye contact engagement with your audience, but as well as you're not going to lose yourself in your notes because there's nothing worse than being on a presentation, being on a slide, and you've got no idea where you are in terms of your notes if you need them. A good trick that I'd also like to add there, which I haven't added into my tips and tricks, uh, if you are in a, doing a presentation where you are visible to your computer screen and you have that whole presenter view thing, um, you can put, put your notes in there and just look across to your laptop or to your computer or however the presentation setup is. Well, and wrong way. Uh, but most importantly, have fun with your presentation. Don't be scared to have fun. Uh, and I'm going to repeat myself here in the conclusion. Enjoy yourself and make your slides personal. In a school environment, you could have a group of 30 people all doing the same presentation on the same topic. If you're not going to put the effort into make your slides personal and you're just going to stand there and fact read, your, power, your presentation isn't going to settle with your audience. It's not going to stay with them. It's not going to, you know, all that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind uh, when you are doing your presentation. So that's it. Again, have fun, make your slides personal. I didn't use any references for this presentation, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned a little something. I learned a few tips and tricks. What we're watching here is me creating the PowerPoint presentation at super high speeds so I can do this little outro. Uh, so go on, be free. I created this PowerPoint presentation purely because I like doing PowerPoint presentations and I'm weird, uh, but also rather coincidentally, um, it fits perfectly into round seven of the last New Zealand YouTuber standing. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, DFTBA.